Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. Back at you another video with a topic that's been on my mind since probably since the draft ended, honestly. Is Will Fuller too risky for the Baltimore Ravens, right? But before we get into that, hey, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, especially like the videos, man. It gets it um, pushed out to a wider audience, get more people to see these videos. And uh, yeah, man, we keep it going like that. So thank you for those who have been like, commenting, and subscribing. Appreciate y'all. All right, let's roll into it. All right, so since the draft, there's been a, a hole missing in that receiving room. And most Ravens fans feel that way. I'm one of them. Um, I believe in the young guys that we have, but I feel like we still need another guy. We haven't really replaced Hollywood. And I know fans will say what they want about Hollywood, but he brought a threat, a speed element to the team that I'm not sure we have right now. I know Duvernay's fast and things like that, but Hollywood speed was a little different. So, like I said, most Ravens fans feel like there's a wide receiver missing in the room, right? They point to Julio Jones, and I get it, it's Julio off the name. He's a legend. We're talking about a first ballot Hall of Famer in Julio Jones. But I just feel like that's not the guy I'm, that, that the Ravens missing. Now, don't get me wrong, the Ravens sound Julio Jones. I'm going to be okay with it. I'm going to be happy about it even. So don't don't get it twisted. But I feel like Will Fuller is kind of the guy that the Ravens are missing, that the prototype the Ravens are missing. And he has the production to back it up when he plays. I know, right? So let's go over Will Fuller real quick. Seven-year vet, 28 years old. And due to that injury history and um, his suspension history, his contract is not going to be crazy because he has to kind of prove it. It'll probably be a one-year deal where he has to kind of prove it that he still has, or maybe a two-year, you know, low, low cap number regardless. Okay. So he played 14 games his rookie year. That's the highest he's ever played in, in his NFL career. Obviously, that's not great. All right. So after that, we got 10, 11, 11, 7, and 2. Injured, various uh, injuries and various suspensions. We know all that about Will Fuller, man. But look, this guy's a touchdown score. And the Ravens need somebody to take the top off the defense and score touchdowns. We can, like I said about Hollywood, we can say what we want about Hollywood. That man scored touchdowns and big play touchdowns. Will Fuller has scored 24 touchdowns in 53 games. Come on now. That's not bad. That's that's one in every that's one in every two games, pretty much. He's, he's, he's getting in that end zone. That's a good record. Okay. The 2020 season, his um not his last full season, but the season he most recently he played the most games, like. He played for the Dolphins last year, only played uh, three games. Um, yeah, played three games, started two of them. So I'm not I'm not going to talk too much about his Dolphins tenure. But his last year in Houston with Deshaun Watson, he played 11 games before he was suspended for the, the PED fraction, for the PED infraction, excuse me. So during that season, in 11 games, 53 catches, 879 yards, Eight touchdowns, 17 yards a catch. He was having a Pro Bowl caliber season. He was about to crack at least 1,200 yards and 10 plus touchdowns that year. With, with it throwing in another probably throwing in probably 80 plus catches. He was having a career year before you know he got he got derailed by the PEDs. Okay, now that's why I said this signing for the Ravens it's not going to cost them a lot. He's he. His value isn't super high right now. And um, the Ravens are the type of team that take advantage of that kind of thing. So, but this is the thing about the Ravens, right? The Ravens are extremely risk averse on offense. Like, almost painstakingly so. They signed a veteran, steady Eddie wide receiver. You know, not too fast, but he'll he'll get open, right? You know, get, get your five yards, seven yards here. Nothing flashy. That's the kind of guy the Ravens get. The only time the Ravens are aggressive on offense is when we're talking about actual games and going forward on fourth down or going for a two-point conversion. I'm talking about you, John Harbaugh. You know, come on now. We know about that. But when it comes to signing players, they're way more um, willing to take that chance on defense than they are on offense. But it's Eric DaCosta slowly changing that tide a little bit. Think about it. Last year, they signed Sammy Watkins. They signed Le'Veon Bell. All right, so look, Sammy Watkins, right? Injury prone, uh, wide receiver. When he does play, he has the potential to make plays. And we saw that. He was injured, but when he played, he was all right. 
it, it, Sammy Watkins is the kind of guy I think the Ravens signed with Isaac Newsom under the helm. I'm not 100% sure. And you look at Le'Veon Bell, you know, you can say Le'Veon Bell, oh, he's been cut, this and that, he kind of fits the Ravens' criteria. But Le'Veon Bell's been labeled a, a distraction in most places. A player that didn't have it anymore, but the Ravens still chose to sign him. So could the tie be turning where they're taking more chances on guys who don't fit the perfect um, veteran kind of mold, right? And Will Fuller is a veteran. He's been in the league seven years, like I said. But I'm talking about the fact that his injury history, his suspension history, he's not the kind of guy that Ravens usually target. But could, we, like I said, with Eric DaCosta, this is a new regime. Could he slowly be changing that tide and saying, hey, hmm, now a guy like Will Fuller is a guy that the Ravens could use. We need somebody to take the top off, off the defense. Lamar can throw the ball deep. It's a great deep ball thrower. We he still need somebody who can stretch the field. We love Tylen Wallace. We love James Prochet. But they're underneath guys. They can line up outside, sure. But are they are they stretching the defense? No, they're, they're really not. Now they have now both of those guys have great jump ball abilities. I'm not gonna take that away from them. They do. But getting behind defense, that's not their game. Devin Duvernay, shifty. Uh, well, some people some people say tell you that he's stiff, but to me, he has speed to get in and out of cuts really fast. So I, I like Devin Duvernay, but he's mainly a slot to me, and that's that's kind of it. That's that, that's his role that he should fit into. So Will Fuller is the kind of guy that I really think the Ravens need and could use, and he fits this offense, man. Like I said, he's 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 the perfect Z receiver for this offense. Um, and another reason why I like the Will Fuller signing is just. The Ravens don't have to count on Will Fuller day in, day out, right? He's going to be the number two receiver if he's here. And it's not like he has to play 70% of the snaps. He doesn't have to play like that. He, he's a low-risk, high-reward signing. He's not going to break the bank for the Ravens. And on top of that, he could give them production and explosion. The Ravens are going to pound the ball on teams this year. Flat out. Offensive line is fixed. Uh, Pat Ricard is back. Uh, Nick Boyle may be back. We'll see if he uh, makes the roster. I think he will, but you know we'll see. The Ravens are set up to run the ball on teams. Now, when you run the ball that well, teams come closer to the line of scrimmage. Now, the deep ball is in play. Rashad Bateman can go deep, sure. But you still need one. I think you still need one guy who's a pure burner who can get over top of that defense. So, to me, that guy is well full for the Ravens. Now, the title of this video is the reason why he might not get signed. He may just be too risky. But for me, it's a risk I'm willing to take. All right, man. It's your boy, Gabriel. Uh, let me know, is Will Fuller too risky, or are you willing to take that risk on a guy like Will Fuller for the Ravens, man? All right, anyway, boy, Gabriel, this on the Fan TV. I'm out.